Hey, Jackie and JT. It's Shane again. So here we are in Marina Bay on uh, Stonewater, I believe is what it is. And so the uh, front facing portion of this house is really nice, really well done. So I'll show you the house. It's uh, kind of neat. Uh, I, I like a lot of things about it. So let me kind of give you the, the quick nickel tour when you sorry about that when you come in the uh, front you instantly turn to the right you see two bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle so obviously for guests uh, it's just a good uh, situation so got a, a bathroom a shower tub combo and then another bedroom that could be obviously office space does have a good size closet in it so that's when you turn immediately to the right. Real nice high ceilings, uh, nice pendant lights that are, you know, in the front foyer, really sharp. I mean, really laid out nice. So I, I like the feel of it. So then you come just another probably 10 feet through the foyer and you can see you turn to the left and there's another guest bedroom back here. And uh, I'll show you the garage in a second. This guest bedroom has its own ensuite. So, uh, tub shower combo and uh, another bedroom. So they got a little girl it looks like. And these are closets on the left hand side. Let's go out and take a, a peek at their garage. Obviously, I always like having a sink in here. It just seems like you, you need it. This is a three car garage. And guys, they've used about every square footage for life. So, uh, you know, it's uh, packed with all the things that uh, you end up uh, having in your life. So, uh, but really well done, sharp, you know, nothing fancy, but but decent. So, has uh, certainly the square footage that you want, just over 3,000 square feet. And uh, has a, a decent, nice feel to it. So, dining room formal. Obviously pass through to the uh, kitchen and then as you swing back to the left you see a den that uh, does not have a closet in it but would certainly be a perfect working space uh, for uh, office. And then let's go in and see. The way this lays out is just a little different guys. So meaning normally you see the kitchen oriented where it's you know all on one side. Here it's actually facing uh, the the uh, space that you wanted to. So as you're functioning here, cooking or whatever, you're certainly a part of everything that's going on in your house. Huge pantry. So, I mean, you'll never feel like you don't have enough space in here. So definitely a nice layout, little eat-in, uh, informal, uh, you know, uh, dining room. So, you know, some places here to be able to uh, pony up to the bar. So uh, definitely a nice place. G profile, obviously higher end uh, appliances. So that is the stove, that is the microwave. I love when those are just right, kind of right at uh, face space. So it's a good thing that way. So G uh, side by side. Uh, and again, I like the tray ceiling very sharp. I'll show you the outdoor space here in just a second. Let's take a look at the master. Um, they have a lot of uh, storage closets in here, which I think is always a good thing. So shower and then a separate tub. Plantation shutters throughout. Really nice that way. And uh, toilet. So really well done. And then when you come into the, uh, if you've noticed, no carpet anywhere. I do like that just because it seems like it cleans up easier. You don't feel like in two to three years you're buying new uh, new uh, uh, carpet because you can tell you've always walked on a track uh, and it just seems to be able to mess things up. So, and again, this is all on one floor. So, I mean, when you're getting 3,000 square feet all on one floor, it's pretty impressive. I mean, that's a, a big, big space. It's getting uh, to be about uh, 522, so the sun's kind of going down a little bit. 
but uh, so you don't see the you know the sun a whole lot right at this point so it's not the sunniest but uh, those windows definitely make it light and bright and nice and so you know they have uh, kind of theater seating but uh, plenty of room out here I mean this is uh, again a big footprint so this is another feature I like about the house but obviously entrance in and out so for little ones you can instantly go in and be into the bathroom so that's a great feature that is the air handler but i like the fact that they have hurricane glass so you never have to feel like it's difficult that way and uh let me show you the outdoor space so good size uh, step as you're coming out of there because that hurricane glass really requires a a good size um, lip on it to be able to sustain those and hold them in place but I mean the, the pool is is obviously a little kidney shaped I believe is what you would call it probably deep end down here but what a quiet I mean you can barely hear I-75 and I always love being at the corner or the end of these ponds because they typically have the most wildlife preserved birds you just see everything down here. And so very, very cool. So I like their outdoor space. Uh, very well done. Very nice. Um, but look at this. And I, I found this incredibly funny. Remember, you can fence in over here in Marina Bay. So they have not only fenced this in, they have actually created... Rather than have green space, they decided, eh, we're going to have, I don't know if they had it set up for uh, like a kid's play area. I don't know exactly what, but there's obviously room still within the fenced portion for a dog. And then this uh, extension of a lanai has got to be I would think, guys, probably 80 feet by 10 at the, at the uh, shortest part down there. It actually bows out a little bit, probably to 14 feet. I don't, it's, it's incredibly usable space. I mean, so I, I don't know exactly what they were after, but it certainly seems like it would be an ideal place. Uh, for family and that gives you kind of what I would say about the property I again hear no road road noise like you do on the back of probably Sparkleberry and also uh, some of the portions of Marina Bay so overall nice property you know decent place I like the fact that this is not walled in here because it definitely is, uh, I think, just more attractive. And again, just to give you an idea, here's the lay of the land. Very sharp, very well done, really open. I don't know if that's good or bad, but nonetheless, it is very open and, and very nice. So I'll walk you back up to the front here again, so you can kind of see once again, kind of everything. And that uh, is ginormous, so you definitely won't need uh, help with a pantry. Again, nice space. You could certainly have uh, one doing an office from there. Maybe Thomas, uh, if you ever want him in an area that has a bathroom, or if you think that's better suited for your, your parents when they come. You got a great room over there with uh, for guests. And then you have the two bedrooms up here. And this house is just very well appointed, very pretty, very nice. Again, plantation shutters throughout. And uh, has uh, all the square footage I think you would want. And also all on one uh, uh, floor. And the only reason I say that is you know, exactly what we got into the issue on your house on Dennington. When you have upstairs space, sometimes those are, they're great for families with kids and such and younger people. 
But as you sell properties, you realize uh, sometimes that comes at a little bit of a cost. And the cost issue is the fact that you are not open market to a ton of people because some people just cannot go upstairs. So this definitely uh, strikes a lot of, checks a lot of boxes and I will send it to you and we will have a discussion later. Thanks so much.